Good morning, Journey United Methodist Church. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Hello, salud, bonjour, hi, kumusta, aloha, xiao, namaste, hola, everything. Xiao, uh, and my favorite word, konnichiwa. Finally, I got it right. So how's everything, church? I hope and uh, pray that everything is going well. I'm, I'm well. Thank you for your prayer for the past uh, five days. I didn't feel well, but of, the, of course with your prayers, now I, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm well. So uh, this week we are in a Thanksgiving uh, week. Uh, so we have a lot of things, every, every reason to thank, right? So... Happy Thanksgiving to all. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, welcome everyone and to all our um, friends, families, guests, visitors. Oh, sorry, visitors. No, no visitors. Yeah. Uh, rewind. Rewind. To everyone. Can we wave hands to all those who are joining us online? Out there, on the camera, at the back. At the back. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. And uh, happy Thanksgiving. So we will be talking about today living a life of Thanksgiving. As I have said, we have a lot of uh, reasons to, to, to give thanks to God. So for that, uh, oh yes, do we have children? Yes, we have. Please, please come. Yeah. Oh, before, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, before the children's moment, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this coming Sunday. What will be the event, the gathering on this Sunday? Okay. Let Christy do the announcement. Sorry, Christy. Oh, you're okay. I was taking a little, I was taking a little breather back there. Um, next Sunday is our 10th anniversary. So excited. I remember when we were with our previous churches and having conversations about forming this church journey and looking back and looking at pictures from our first few years and our first few events, it takes you down a lot of good memories and, and better. Um, and, it's, and it's wonderful to see and I'm so excited to celebrate 10 years with all of you. Um, we have a lot of goodies in store for you. Um, we need help next Saturday. Um, not only are we dressing the church for Christmas season, for Advent season, but we're also decorating for our 10th anniversary. We need some muscles to help with uh, tables that are we are borrowing from another church. Um, and I've been told they're heavy. So we need some muscle. If you think you can help... Um, you can talk to me afterwards. We're meeting Saturday at 8.30 to start all the decorating. Um, potluck signups are on the back, correct? Where's Diane? In the kitchen. So, yeah, the signups are on the back. Um, we have some great dishes, um, but we still need more. We're expecting at least 100 or so um, because our brothers and sisters from Pacifica are joining us next Sunday. Um, so... It's going to be a lot of fun. We need food. We need drinks. Um, we need people here on Saturday to help. And uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting a lot of things. I'm having a major brain fart this morning. So if you have any questions, you can see me after church. Clarita, raise your hand. Lana, Deb and Barb are not here. Trish is here. Anne's got some answers too or Pastor JC. So there's quite a few of us who have information. So if you need any information or would like to help out and I didn't mention it, please see one of us and let us know, okay? I can't wait for next Sunday. It's gonna be super exciting. Thank you. Now we 
children's moment. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Yay! We are glad that you are here today. Today is Thanksgiving Sunday. What do you do on Thanksgiving? Yes? <laughs> Eat a lot of food. Yes? You share what you're thankful for? Yes? Yeah, more eating turkey. All right. So if we asked what you were grateful for, do you have something right off the top of Oh, my goodness, you're ready. What are you grateful for? I am grateful for my mom and my family. His mom and his family? Yes, yeah, Simi? He's thankful for church. Hi, Savea, what are you thankful for? want to think about it? Okay. AJ? I'm thankful for God. I'm thankful for God. Jackson? What? You're happy for Pastor JC. Nice. What are you thankful for? Painting. Painting? Nice. Okay. Well, those are all good things. Do we have to wait for Thanksgiving to be thankful? Oh, no. Just like I opened it up with, we, each day the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Yes? All right. Can we close with a prayer? Okay. Can you repeat after me? Thank you, God, for being with us each day. We are grateful for so many things in our lives. So many things in our lives. We ask that you keep our family safe. We ask that you keep our family safe. And our friends safe. And our friends safe. And we are thankful for your son, Jesus Christ. And we are thankful for your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Okay, let's walk to your classrooms. Please stand for the call to worship. Let us gather with grateful hearts, for God has blessed us with life, love, and that all that we need. We come and give thanks and offer our praise, for the Lord is good, his mercy endures forever. With hearts filled with joy, let us center his presence with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. We give thanks to the Lord all the time, for he is the God of Together we worship the one who fills us with every good thing. Praise be to God.
join me in the opening prayer. Almighty God, creator of all good things, we come before you with hearts overflowing in gratitude for every blessing, every gift, and every opportunity to serve. We thank you. Open our eyes to your grace in our lives and help us recognize your presence in both our joys and our struggles. Fill us with the spirit of thankfulness that we may live as people who see your hand at work in all things. We offer our worship to you with gratitude, praise, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Good morning. Our first scripture reading this morning is from Psalm 100. The Lord is God. Shout praises to the Lord, everyone on this earth. Be joyful and sing as you come into the worship of the Lord. You know the Lord is God. He created us and we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep in his pasture. Be thankful and praise the Lord as you enter his temple. The Lord is good. His love and faithfulness will last forever. Our second reading this morning is Colossians 3, 15, 17. Each one of you is part of the body of Christ and you were chosen to live together in peace. So let the peace that comes from Christ control your thoughts and be grateful. Let the message about Christ completely fill your lives while you use all your wisdom to teach and instruct others. With thankful hearts, sing. With thankful hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. Whatever you say or do should be done in the name of the Lord Jesus as you give thanks to the God the Father because of him. Thanks be to God. Amen. Do you know that there were top 10 answers for the question, what are you grateful for? 10 top questions, answers, answers on that questions. Can you name some? Why are you grateful for? One. Friends. Two. Life. Three. Community. Church. Four. Right? Home. Right. Already had. Health. Good. More. One. Three more. Food. 
And top answer is, you got it right, Rick. Jesus Christ. That was the top answer. Why people are grateful for. The top answer is Jesus. Jesus is the number one. We are so grateful for. Join me in the attitude of prayer. We are so grateful, Lord, because you are the reason why we are so grateful. You gave us life. You gave us that salvation. A salvation that comes from you. As we hear your word, O oh God, the message of today, be with your servant. Be with us all through your Holy Spirit. In your name, amen. Church, Thanksgiving is not all about having more food in the table, on the table. Thanksgiving is not only having new clothes, new car, house, or the material things we had. Remember, at this very moment, millions of people are starving around the world. But even though they, are, they were starving, they seek God and take thanking God for what they have. One of the top answer why people are, what people are grateful for, life. Life is more than food. Life is more than clothes. Life is more than cars or material things around us. Thanksgiving is a lifestyle. Our culture, especially here in the United States, produces Thanksgiving for only one day. I'm so sad about it. Why? Because Thanksgiving should be 24-7. Thanksgiving is 24-7 and 24-7 is Thanksgiving. It should be 365 days that we should be grateful for. True thanksgiving flows from recognizing who is God. It is not all about how much money we spend on the extravagant food around the table. It is all about recognizing God, God's character, His blessing, and God's presence in our lives. It is all about giving joyful praise and service. Yes, in Psalm 100, the Psalm of King David calls us to be joyful. When we give thanks to God, we praise God with a joyful heart. Can we, can we express a joyful heart with a sad face? Thank you, Lord. Now, if you have that grateful heart, you should praise with a good heart. In Colossians, as we heard, 
reminds us that thanksgiving should be from our heart, mind, and actions. Thanksgiving begins with praise, number one, in Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all ye, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. The United Methodist Church, we are known by singing congregation. We are a singing congregation. It is part of our DNA. When we meet together, we sing together. We want to sing not only for ourselves, but we want to sing for God. David Church, or King David, exemplifies this. When he danced before the Lord, with all his might, as the Ark of the Covenant was brought into Jerusalem. Wow. Psalms singing praises to God with the Ark of the Covenant. He recognizes the presence of God in his life. David recognizes the presence of God to the Israelites' people. David recognizes the greatness of God to all people. How about you, church? Do you begin your thanksgiving by praising the Lord when we woke up in the morning? Let us start it. Let us start the day by praising the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving me life. Thank you, Lord, for giving me my family. Isn't that amazing, recognizing the praises that it should be on God? And praising God is all about gathering together in worship as a community of faith. It is an expression of gratitude, singing together, come ye thankful people, come. We gather today because we want to be a community of faith, praising God, focusing on God, what matters most. Amen? And church, in a single day, as we praise the Lord, let us, let us create a thanksgiving jar every day. What are those we are thankful, thankful for? Every day, let us put life, family, like putting all those thanksgiving things, events that God had given to us. We have a lot. So church, thanksgiving grows as we acknowledge God in our lives. Thanksgiving grows as we acknowledge and recognize that God works in you, works in this church, works to everyone. Another thing that we should be thinking for is let us cultivate that peace that God had given to us. In the, in, in the letter of Paul to the Colossians, chapter 15, Chapter 3, verses 15. Verse 15 said, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as a member of one body, you were called to peace, the shalom. 
And not only that, Paul said to the Colossian Christian, and be thankful because of that peace that cometh from God. Let there be peace on earth and then let it begin with, with me. For the Jewish people, shalom means hello, hi. I'm thankful. Because of that peace, we should be thankful, church. When we are so thankful, when we express our gratitude to God, we have that peace, right? Yeah. When we recognize that everything comes from God, even though we are struggling, even though we have that pain, still, the peace of God is in you, is in us. And nobody, nobody can take away that peace from you. So let us cultivate that. As we give thanks to God, let us remember that God embraces us with that peace. And recognizing that peace is recognizing God. So what shall we do then? To have that peace, let us combat worry with gratitude. Life is really complicated. But if we combat worry with gratitude, when anxiety arises, can you list three things? Just only three things. When you worry, list three things. Why I should be worried? I have my life. I have my family. I have the community of faith. It will erase those anxiety. Right? And then, church, let us find rest on God's promises. What is what God promised us to, uh, to each and every one of us? John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son to everyone. Those who believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. That was the greatest gift to each and every one of us. That was the God's great promise to each and every one of us. But not only that, thanksgiving leads to action. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly. And here is the thing. Whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it in the name of Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. Whatever you do, Inside your house, outside your house, wherever you are, church, do it in the name of God. Thanksgiving isn't just a feeling. It's something we live out. When we are truly grateful, it transforms how we react with others, right? When you are so grateful, some people will see you through. Oh, this kind of person is, why, why are you so happy? Because I'm grateful. When you are grateful, when you interact with others, when you approach others in your work, and when you serve God, People will see God in you. Amen. Jesus 
demonstrated thanksgiving in action. He fed the 5,000. Before performing the miracle, he gave thanks for the five loaves and two fish. His gratitude preceded the provision, teaching us that even small resources we had, we should be grateful for. Millions of people are starving. Let us serve others with gratitude through our prayers, through our gifts, recognizing them. And church, living a life of thanksgiving transform us. When we praise God, we gain joy. When we cultivate gratitude, we find peace. And when we act on our thanksgiving, we become instruments of God's love. Church, why are you, what are you thankful for? Are you living a life thanksgiving to God all be the glory please stand as you are able as we recite the Lord's prayer our father It's our invitation to our offering. You are invited to place a donation in one of the offering plates as they are passed by our ushers, or you can give online as shown on the screen or scan the QR code. In response to all that God has given us, we offer our gifts with grateful hearts. May our giving be an expression of our thanksgiving and blessings to others. you Lord oh your mercy never fails me all my days I've been held in your hands from the moment that I wake up till I lay my head oh I will sing of the goodness of God have led me through the fire 
and darkest night you are close like no other i've known you as a father i've known you as a friend and i have lived in the goodness of god Generous God, you have blessed us with so much. We bring these offerings with joy, thankful for the chance to give back a portion of what you have given freely. Bless us in the service that we bring hope, healing, and love to the world.
serving one another and serving our neighbors. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for this country. Thank you for the life. And thank you, Lord, for that faith. Loving you with all our heart, mind, soul, and spirit. And loving our neighbors as we love ourselves. I pray, Lord, to everyone. I pray to those who are hurting, struggling, in pain, struggling. Be with them, O oh God. And be with us all. In the, not only on this Thanksgiving week, but the rest of the year, we should recognize your goodness, O oh God. Church, go forth with hearts full of thanksgiving, rejoicing in the blessings of God and sharing His love with all your meat. May God's peace fill you. May His love overflow you. And may you live each day in gratitude. Amen. Let us continue singing. Thank you.